Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And yeah, today I'm going to show you how to create this VHS like retro style effect. I've seen it on Pinterest quite a lot and I fell in love with it. It looks really nice. And of course, it's quite easy to do. And I'll explain step by step how to do everything so you won't have any trouble. I'll leave a link in the description for you to download everything that I've used in this tutorial. And if you want to download the Photoshop file, well, you can do so on my Patreon. Where I've got lots of different textures, overlays. and So yeah, enough waffling and let's get into it. So once you've got your canvas open, you want to download the link that I left in the description. And that will be a folder with all this stuff. And the first thing you want to import are these two assets, the cassette, the cassette and the front side. So I'm going to do that right now. Import both of them. And there you go. I usually place on the left the, the texture and on the right the cassette. And another thing you want to keep in mind is that the cassette should be behind the, the paper. So if you've got any trouble, just look on your layers and put the cassette underneath the front side. Now the next thing I want to add is the picture that I'm going to use. I'm going to use a different one from the thumbnail. It's a Travis Scott picture. It's this one right here. So I'm going to place it on top of the paper texture as so. And I want to create a, a clipping mask over the, the paper. So what you want to do is right click on the picture you've imported. Then go down here at the bottom and press on create clipping mask. As you can see now it's over the paper only. And again select on the picture you've imported and this time you want to uh, do some blending options. We're going to go down here to these options and you're going to select the one that you like the most. I'm going to go for the lighten uh, blending option, looks quite nice. Now the next thing I want to do is add some texture to the actual image. Although it already has some texture I'm going to add a bit more. So again, select the, the picture you've imported and then go up here to filter. Now you want to go to noise and then go to add noise. Here you can add any amount you want. Just don't go too much because as you can see, you can't even see anything. And yeah, go for quite a small percentage. I don't know, like 16 or so. And there you go. Now you can do any adjustments that you want to the image that could be add some exposure using the curves tool or anything you want. I think my picture already looks quite nice, but if you want to do any changes, feel free to do so. And now I want to add some depth to the actual cover. So I'm going to add some shadow to the paper or well, behind the paper. And what I'm going to do is go and select the cassette layer and press on create a new um, layer here. Now you want to select here on the left the brush tool which is this one right here. Then you want to press on this icon and then you want to go to hardness and select it to 0%. The size you can adjust as high amount as you want and you want to select a black color like this. Now I'm going to go across the whole canvas like this in a straight line to add some shadow. And there you go. Now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go to the folder and this time I'm going to, I'm going to import the icons that we're going to use, which are these four right here. So select them and press and import them into your, your canvas. Now you want to select these four and let's make it a bit smaller so we can see it inside the canvas. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place them next to each other like this. And there you go. Now select all of the icons again. This time you want to right click and you want to merge them together. Now you want to double click on the icon here. You want to go to color overlay and you want to select a color that fits the theme of your cover. So for example, I can see there's a black, uh, there's a, sorry, there's a white jet behind him. So I'm going to go for a grayish color like this. Make sure you can see the icons once you make sure you can see the actual icons. And yeah, I'm going to adjust the size and I'm going to place it right here at the bottom. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color of this middle part of the cassette. So I'm going to go to the rectangle tool here on the left. 
and I'm going to create a rectangle over this. Again, you want to fill the color the same, you want to fill it in the same color as you did with the icons, like this. And now you want to go to blending options and go down to overlay. Create the, I'm going to duplicate these icons again, I'm going to place it over this. So I press Command J or Control J, depending if you're Mac or Windows. And I've made a copy. Now I go to Edit, Transform, and Rotate 90 degrees clockwise. Now the next step is I'm going to add some text. So again, I'm going to leave in the description a font for you to download. It's really nice. It's called A Another Font. Sorry, A Another Tag. Again, you want to select on the color, on the actual text, and you want to change the color to the same color as the icon and as the background. So it's that grayish color I've selected before. It depends on what color you chose. And I'm going to do the same thing as the icons. Go to Edit, Transform, and rotate 90 degree, degrees clockwise. I'm going to adjust the size to place it here on the rectangle. And I'm going to leave it like that. Now the finishing touches you want to do to this cover is change the colors of the actual cover and add some texture. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to go to the top of the layers. I'm going to go down here and select and select color lookup. Now, once you've selected it, you can see there's here on the right, well, I've got the history, you can't really see. Here on the right, you've got the load 3D LUT option, and you wanna select that. And there's loads of options here. You can choose whichever one you like. They're like filters you can use. The ones I prefer the most are the Fuji camera ones or the Kodak, because it adds a vintage effect to it. You can select any one, any that you want. My favorite one is the Fuji Eterna, Eterna 250D, the first one. I think that looks really nice on it. But again, you can just look at every filter and select the one you like the most. And yeah, the last thing I wanna do is add some texture over everything. So again, open the folder you, want, you, uh, you downloaded before and import the texture as so and go to lighten now i don't want to leave it so noticeable so i'm going to turn the opacity down a bit give you a bit more like this and yeah if you want to add a parental advisory sticker i've also left that in the folder for you to use adjust the size and place it on the bottom corner like this that's the cover done it looks really nice and as you can see it wasn't too hard it's just following the steps nothing too complicated if you want to see anything in particular just leave a comment and let me know feel free to leave a like and please subscribe if you like my content see you next time